We are going to turn this spreadsheet of employee information and reporting relationships into an organizational chart automatically. Many tutorials on creating organizational charts from Excel data use a trivial number of employees, maybe five or 10. This is a list of 50 employees, still a small business, but a more meaningful number to work with. You'll see we have this list of employees and we have a manager for each employee and we have their city, job title, division, department, birth date, start date, and employee number. What we wanna do is take these employees and their manager relationships along with some of the data in here and build out that organizational chart automatically. So step one is we need to save this data in Excel as a CSV or comma delimited format. It's a very common file format that Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel and other spreadsheet applications all export to. So we're gonna say file, save as, and we'll give it a name. And you can save it anywhere you want, whether you're on Windows or a Mac, save that in any folder location you want. And then in the file format, we're gonna choose CSV and we'll choose save. If the file already exists, Excel will prompt you to ask whether you wanna replace it, we do. And you'll notice that Excel gives me this little warning that says there's possible data loss. It just means that when it's presenting CSV data, not all of Excel features are available in this file format, but that's fine because we're gonna use this data in another place. So we have this CSV file. Step one is completed. We've saved as CSV. Step two, we go to LexChart and we're going to import that CSV file and have LexChart build the chart for us automatically. So import, choose file, management chart. Here's that CSV file we just created and upload. LexChart is gonna ask, where do you want all of this data to go? So we wanna import the links because the connection between the employee and the manager is really important for that chart. We need that in order to create the hierarchical structure that we're after. So the employee information in this case is the child in the parent-child relationship. So again, we're creating a hierarchical diagram. So LexChart is asking which card or which element goes on top of the other in the chart. So the employee should be the child in this case and the manager will occupy the parent position in that case. We don't really want the city data, or but we do want the title data and the title data is gonna go with the children. So these employees, which are children we've said up here, are gonna each get their job title placed in their card with them. We can ignore the division of the department in this case, maybe even the birth date, but let's add the start date as well and the employee number. We want a hierarchical diagram or an organizational chart that shows the connection between the child and the parent and then adds the title, the start date, and the employee number for each of those. So let's import all of that. And LexChart builds the chart automatically for us. And that is step two completed. We've imported the data and the chart is already built in a basic format. But we wanna make some changes to the look of this. So step three is design the chart just the way you want. Now a few things about LexChart. The first is it's infinitely scalable. So unlike a lot of other applications, you can zoom in, you can drag the chart around and explore it. So no matter how many employees are on your chart, the infinite canvas will allow you to explore it. The first thing I wanna do is give it a title. So we're just gonna call this our chart example. Now, maybe in my chart, I see some things that I wanna do right off the bat. First, we'll recenter this. I really don't need the board of directors listed here, so I'm going to delete the board of directors. I can just um, use the delete key on my keyboard or I can choose delete here, and LexChart has removed it and redrawn the chart for us automatically. I also don't like these curved lines in this example. In many cases, the curved lines are really useful when you have lots of connections and you really wanna delineate between them, but let's move to more traditional elbow connectors. And there we have more traditional elbow connectors. Now the next thing I might wanna do is change the presentation of some of this information. So if I zoom in, you'll see that David Wilkinson has a title and a start date, an employee number, all that data just came in automatically for us. We didn't have to do it. But maybe you don't like this side-by-side -side layout 
in the card. Well, what we can do is select all of those cards, the employee cards, and we're gonna change the position of the data to vertical. And the other thing we're gonna do is we'll just come in and edit each of those, and we want the name to be left justified as well, to be consistent with all that other formatting. And now we have a more vertical stacked card, and if we zoom in on David again, you'll see that he has a title and a start date and an employee number, all that information is available to me there. And all the cards are formatted consistently and LexChart is displaying that just the way I want it to. The next thing I wanna do is distinguish between these major departments. And I'd like them to look a little different depending on what the reporting relationship is. So I'm going to select David's department, and I'm going to make all of those blue, and we will, uh, this controls the opacity. We're gonna make them a light blue, and we will make the border fully blue. And there I've got a cluster of David's group. And now I can do the same for Nicole's group. So now we've applied a color scheme to the departments and can see those really visually. So that was step three. We've designed the chart the way we want it. Step four is we can share the chart with anyone we want. So when you share, you can share it with any email address you want, copy that link and send them a link and they can come in and view the chart depending on the permissions uh, that you give them. The other option, and this is the fifth step, is that we can download the chart. So we can say, download a PNG or a PDF or a JPEG of the image. And I'll choose a PNG, which is an image, high quality image format. And LexChart will simply save a PNG version of the file that you have here. And so with those five simple steps, save as is CSV, import, design, share and download, you have quick and easy organizational chart from your Excel data. Thanks, come back for more.